We're going to work on a composition of functions problem, but this one's based on a table, as you can see on the left-hand side. So we want to figure out what is g composed with f of 2 and f composed with g of 1. So another way to write this first example would be g with a composition symbol, then f goes after it, of 2. If you did see it with the composition symbol, that little circle in the middle, the first thing I would do is rewrite it so it looks just like this with g on the outside and f of 2 on the inside. From here, what we're going to do is bring along the outer function, g, and then just focus on what's on the inside initially, this f of 2. So f of 2, based on our chart, we're going to look at an x value of 2 being plugged in, and then it's getting plugged into f, so that's going to lead us towards this first, uh, second column, which gives us a five as an output. From here, we wanna figure out what is g of five. Well, it's gonna be an x value of five plugged into g of x as a function. So that's gonna output an eight. And that's all there is to it. Next up, we have f composed with g of one. So again, bring along the outer function, the f, and focus on the inside here. What we're gonna have on the inside is we have that g of one, so that's going to be an x value of 1 gets plugged in. And it gets plugged in this time into the function g of x. So that's going to aim us towards this entry right here, which is going to be a 5 again. But this time we need to figure out what is f of 5. So an x value of 5 gets plugged in, this time into the function f of x. And our output's going to be a 0. All right, hopefully this helps out. Whenever you're doing these, if you have the composition symbol, First, rewrite it in the correct order, and then work from the inside out, just um, uh, evaluating these as you go. All right. Hope this helps. Good luck.